What's up, Charles Skyloft Gaming? Joe's PH Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. Let's play. In the last episode, we saved the day and we stopped uh, Drowsy from the stealing, uh, kidnapping a Zoro. Well, then they were trying to steal treasure. That's wrong. Anyway, so um, in today's episode, I actually don't know what we're going to be doing. So uh, let's find out. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Ah, you two. Give me, let me give you your assignment for today. Look for jobs in the job board. It's important in the outward notice board. Do the list of jobs. That's what we'll do for today. Understood? No shrieking your work. Well, do you understand? Get on with it. Okay, so we actually don't have anything to do today. Great. There will be days where that happens, where you can't and you just go on and do things. So this is going to be one of those days where we're just going to be like, well, storyline grinding. I might make like random cuts to cut those out. I don't know. I really actually don't know if... Uh, you can actually let me know in the comment section about that. Because I think that would be an interesting uh, thing to ask about. Should I cut out random story event? I mean, I want to show story. I want to show storyline. But there are certain days where that's not where there's no storyline. So, you know. I want to uh, show those. I don't want to show those days. Okay, so we can get... Okay. So this is Team Puchiena. They've got three Puchienas. Okay, that's a weird team. Anyway, so let's have a look at the Outlaw Lotus board. Can I get any? No, no, no I don't want to see jobs on here. No. Guess let's go to the job bulletin board. I guess I could do all those jobs. But there's one I don't like. It's a court Explore with Corsola. Uh, I don't really like these let's go together missions, but um, you get a po usually in these get together missions, you get a Pokemon that's quite low leveled and can't handle themselves, so you're usually having to back them up. And uh, I don't really like that. I'm not a very fan of backing people up, because, you know, it's our job to fight, and they're not going to help us. Okay, so. Do I have an escape orb? I might have an escape orb. I want to take all these jobs. I'm going to go and do them. Hopefully I have an escape orb. I might have one in my King of Scorn storage. I don't think I have one in my bag. Yeah, I really don't think I have an escape orb. I might. No, I don't. Okay, maybe I've got one in my King of Scorn storage. Let's have a look. Okay, so Kangaskhan storage. Here we go. Driving escape orb here. I want to take. Do I have an escape orb? Escape orb. No, I don't have an escape orb. Can I buy one? Because I don't know. Like, I don't know if I actually have one. Okay, so we got fights for the Kakuyons. I don't have... You don't have escape orbs, do you? Uh, but you probably, like, your shot, the other form of you would have it. Okay, so... you have an escape orb? No, you do not have an escape orb. God damn it! Well, that mission we can't do. Unless I find an escape orb in the detached buff. I might be able to find one. Yeah, I might be able to find one, so I I have to do that. I'm gonna be. I feel like it would be better to make a cut and then do these random like story events and uh, do these random days where I got to grind storyline grinding. Probably should be done off screen. I feel like that's probably like the best option. So I'm gonna go make a random cut. I'm gonna be back in a couple minutes. At the end of the day, storyline events will be done. We might be higher leveled. I will show you the full team before we go. Uh, before we go through and we'll actually have some storyline. The storyline's important. I don't think these grinding days are important, so I will not be doing them on screen. So, I'm going to go here and I will see you guys in a couple minutes.
Okay, so things are finally happening. This is now chapter four, the gatekeepers. There's up and at him. It's morning. Ugh. Uh, good morning, Bacon God. I'm in the middle of a recording session right now, so I'm not going to save. I will save at the end of the episode. And free. Smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon. Time to get to work. Hooray! Hey, you two! We need your help with something today. Diggler, I bought them here. Thank you, Loud Red. You two, you're doing sentry duty today. Sorry, I know I'm the one who usually does sentry duty, but today my dad gave me his job of updating the boards. That is why I cannot man my post. So it would be great if someone could take sentry duty for me today. And that's why you're here. Do, please do a good job for me. Bye. And that's that. Ugh. Uh, how? I didn't follow all that. Why are we involved? Uh, shut your yap. No more belly aching. Do your duty. Oh, my head hurts. So, what do you expect us to do, anyway? Climb down this hole and stand your ground. That's sentry duty. Sentry duty? You heard me right. Sentry duty. We can't have suspicious characters coming into the guild. So we station a sentry below the uh, guild entrance to evaluate Pokemon visitors. When you first came, you had your footprints examined, right? My footprint? What do you... What do you mean? Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Squirtle. The footprint is Squirtle's. Wow. Oh, I remember now. There was this weird hole in front of the gate. I stood on the gate, and then and someone shouted something up. It was shocking. Okay, so you want us to climb down that hole. What's next? Then, tunnel. the tunnel leads into the, where the sentry post is. Oh, I see. Right. Diglett burrows on the ground f through the sentry and pops down at the sentry post. See, he goes up there and he ends up there. That's the sentry post. Okay. From the sentry post, Diglett is able to inspect footprints and identifies who's coming in. And informs me. Okay. Then I decide whether to let that suspicious person in or not by uh, opening the gate. Okay. So we service the gate's gate guild the guild's gatekeepers. That's what the guild Okay, so that's what we have to do today then. Look, all you have to do is inspect the footprints of the visitors and tell me what they are. Do you understand? I understand, but I'm not sure how good I'll be at it. Good. And let's get to work. Book up and do a good job. Wow, it's pitch back in here, Bacon God. But we'll f have to feel our way. Well, you should be being pretty close to the sentry post now. Hey, there. I see a light, Bacon God. How's it going? Have you re have you taken position at the sentry post? Yep, yep. Here we are. Yep, we're there. Good. Pokemon visitors should be soon coming to set on the gate. 
grill above the sentry post. Identify them by the footprint and inform me. Got that? Yep, got it. Good, let's get started then. Okay, so this is the... Uh, this is going to be an interesting game. Literally got to identify whose footprints it are uh, by their... <laughs> Uh, by what footprints you can see. Now, most likely, if you see a, if it's a bird Pokemon, you'll see a bird footprint, and the one that looks like a bird will be a bird footprint. So that's what you need. But for other Pokemon, it might be slightly a bit harder than that. And if you do very well here, you can get a bunch load of items and other stuff too. So it's a good idea to do very well. I'm probably going to fail miserably, but I'll see how long it takes me to get a passing grade. <laughs> Okay, so look at the footprint on the top of the screen and identify whose footprint it is. You can get... You can only get two wrong, okay? Okay, here we go. First footprint. Okay, so that's a bird. I'm going to go with Scormory. Yeah, the footprint is Scormory. Okay, so I'm right there. Cool. Here comes another visitor. Oh. I want. I want to see Infernape. Oh, I get it. So you get more points the the quicker you take. You get more points the quicker you identify the footprint. But as the time goes on on that little green bar. So it gives you more of a clue, so you can identify it even more so. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is a foot. I think it may... Yeah, it's Bulbasaur. It's little James. Okay. Whose footprint is that? I want to say Meganium? Damn, it's an ivy saw. Sorry, I f I fudged up. So at least we know what happens when you get one wrong. I'm only allowed two wrong, so I can't I can't do that again. I've got to say that's a pitlop, but I'm not sure. It's a grove Pokemon. I want to say yeah. Okay, so it's Grovile. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm having real trouble trying to figure out what these footprints are. I want to say that's Octillery. It's a jet Pokemon. I don't know a jet Pokemon. Like, I don't know that. Okay, so I got two wrong. I did not do very well. Oh, you've done an honest day's work. Let me review your Sanctuary Duty performance. Your performance was probably terrible. The results were adequate. Hmm. Oh. Here. Here are the rewards for doing your job. Okay, so we got the rewards for doing this job. Cool. And here are the rewards. We got 100 poke. Not bad. In addition to that, we got protein. The protein was set to storage. Cool. I expect to see better effort from you next, uh, from you lot next time. Oh, come on, Shatart. That's a, that's a really hard mission. Come on, Shatart. That's a really hard mission. Actually, I'd like to know how you guys do at that, uh, at that little, uh, mini game. Let me know in the comment section. You, I mean, I don't know, it's probably been a while since you guys have probably played this game, if you have played this game before. But that little mini game is hard. Trying to figure out whose footprints are whose is really hard because you know I'm not looking at the Pokedex here. I could tell I could tell you whose footprints are whose if I was looking at the Pokedex, but I'm not looking at the Pokedex. We should get some sleep too. Let's make another Let's make another good day tomorrow. Alright, it's good night. The next morning. Up and Adam, it's morning! 
Oh, good morning, Beacon God. Nope, still don't want to save. Okay, so what are we doing today? Really? My job is to do the job is to do the board is to do the job bulletin board again. No oh, fine. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, can we go to the outlaw notice board now? Oh, so we can. My treasure was stolen. Can I find out some more information, please? Okay, so need arena item taken by a geodude, okay. I could do that. Okay, is there anything else for the beach cave? Oh, let's do let's go pull of things for the beach cave. Okay, so I'm gonna go with these two. As well, so I could do those. I guess I could bring you guys with me as well, because I'm trying to figure out what to do. Because you know, this episode's been like fifteen minutes and like I not a lot's happened. So I kind of want to bring you guys with me because like we haven't done anything yet. Do we have an escape orb still? Is there still is there an escape orb in the shop yet? Oh, there is. Cool. I actually can use that. Okay, ooh, look. That's... We're Team AWD. We're a band of thieves led by Revile. Our travels are a search of the ultimate treasures that brought us here. But there doesn't appear to be anything of prospect. Okay. Let me ask you, is there something in this area that we sh... Uh, a place called Zero Isle. Do you know it? Zero Isle. No, I... Should I? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, fine by me. Okay, so... No, we can't sadly help Team AWD today. We don't know where Zero Isle is. Hey, Bidoof. I was going on exploration with some flora, but... Oof. Tell you what. I'm feeling I might be confident. Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing to be frightened of, Doof. Let's just both be brave on our exploration. Okay, so they're going off on an adventure, and we are going off on an adventure too. So I can go to the beach cave, I can go to the detached buff, I can go to both. I think I'll go to the beach cave because that's where all the missions. Uh, there are a lot of missions, so let's go there. And do those missions there, and then off screen I will do the other one at the end after the end of this episode. So I'll play on and do the other mission off screen if there aren't any story events after this a uh, little bit. Okay, that seems like a good idea. Okay, so we are back in the uh, we are back in the beach cave from the very first episode. It's not. It's been an interesting journey. I'm in, really enjoying the storyline of this game so far. I've got to say, I am really enjoying the storyline. And I know you guys saw too, and in, I know a lot of you guys have played these games before. To tell you the truth, I actually have Gates of Infinity now. I uh, bought it a few weeks back, and uh, I really want to play it. But the fact is, I'm not going to. I'm going to I'm gonna hold myself back, and I will not play that game until I am OP and get either over here on Skyloft or on my own channel. So I will not play Gates of Infinity. And it probably won't be to like Christmas or something like that before I even pick up the game for an LP. So basically it's just going to collect dust. And I really want to play it too. The, but the whole thing about these games, the one thing I am loving more than anything in the world is the blindness, the storylines. I don't know where these games are going to go. And that's what makes them so amazing. I really would love to have a 6th gen Mr. Junction with Mega Evolution and lots of other stuff in it too. I mean, I'm not sure how they'd work all the mechanics to make it work, but it'd be fun to see. So uh, maybe that'd be a good idea too. So Mr. Junction... 
you know, Sip Gem Mystery Dungeon, like X and Y style, the sort of X and Y style graphics, maybe like based on the graphical engine of uh, Gates Infinity, but with Sip Gem Pokemon. And then we bring back all the mechanics that people hit, uh, like people missed. Because the fact is, I do know some things about Gates of Infinity. I know that you, that when you pick your starter, you're not. Uh, you found a Geodude. Yes, I want to rescue the Geodude. Okay, so we rescued a Geodude. I want to stay in the dungeon. Because there's more missions to do in the dungeon. Okay, so. Yeah, where was it? Yeah, I I know a few things about um, I know a few things about Gate to Infinity. I know that there's no test; it's just a simply pick your starter uh, series, and there's no test. And I like the idea of the test. I like to uh, find out what my nature was. I like to answer these questions honestly. So I really like that mechanic, but it's different from any normal Pokemon game. And it just seems like picking your starter is a is a is not really a fun thing to do because that just seems like a normal generic Pokemon game kind of thing. So, you know. Ooh. We wanted Outlaws here. Okay, so you are the wanted Outlaw. I should probably set my move as Ember. And I should maybe yeah, hit you. No, no, no. Right. Right. What is going to do? Oh yes, right. You need to use Bubble and only Bubble because Bubble is super effective on Geodude. There we go. Now use Bubble. I don't actually know how long it's going to take to kill this Geodude, but it might not take that long. There we go. Geodude dead. Nice. And now you can kill that and that. Okay, we're going to see what item it is. Stepped on a special band. Actually, that'd be rather useful. Like, damn it, my bag's full. Do I have anything I can get rid of? Anything at all I can get rid of right here, right now? Anything at all? I suppose I could eat the yellow gummy. Oh. You learned a skill. Yay, we got it. So we can return that to... Uh, no. There's still another mission to do here, I believe. Yeah, there's still another mission to do here. We're, there's a fourth... On the fourth floor, there's another mission to do. Okay, so I believe you learned a skill. What skill did you learn? Shellshock, what skill did you learn? Check ID. Okay, so you learnt this skill, I believe. This is Efficiency Expert. What's this do? When there are several enemies nearby, the Pokemon will target the one with the lowest HP. That is a good idea. Yes, you can have you can have that on. That's a good idea. That's a good idea for you to target the one with the lowest HP. That is a good idea. That's a good thing for you to do. And since I can't control... Uh, I probably will be giving most of my gummies to Squirtle so, and my other teammates when I get other teammates because I'm guessing this is like I'm guessing this is like a, a Red and Blue Rescue Team where you can get other teammates eventually I don't know when that will be a thing but you know whenever that is a thing I will be able to recruit teammates but I'm guessing that's a thing so when that happens I will give them gummies as well I will get gummy. I will give the gummies to Squirtle, and I will give the gummies to my other teammates. I don't think I need gummies because the fact is, I'm not going to be teaching myself return. I'm also not going to be needing to worry about my own skills because I know who I'm attacking because I'm the controlling that person. It's just a computer. You need to teach the computer. The computer's not as smart as the player characters in some of these games. That's why I've realised, like for, ex it, for example. Uh, yeah, for example, during Red and Blue Rescue Team, my uh, partner Pokemon, which was Charmander, decided to use a lot of moves that were really dangerous t against me, and right, it were very powerful against me. Right, right whilst he was behind me, s because his moves could hit from miles away. Oh right, you're just see, 
I wouldn't have noticed that you're a, a helpful Pokemon. I was trying to, I was trying to kill you because I thought you weren't a helpful Pokemon. Damn you, Shellos! You know you can actually find Shellos here, so it's a really annoying that Shell a Shell. It's hard to tell what good what a good Shellos and what a bad Shellos. But we rescued the Shellos. All right, so I can leave the dungeon now. Yay! Okay, so we beat the gate, the beach cove. Okay, we rescued Need Arena. We rescued you, dude, for Need Arena. We got a hundred poke. Cool. We got some ten. We got ten gravel rocks and a gravel rocks point in storage. And we got ten ten explorer points. Cool. And we got a special band back for Need Arena. Another Need Arena that is. And we got a max elixir for that. Yay! Max elixir is point in storage. And we got a reviver seed as well. Reviver seed is point in storage. Cool. And we rescued Shellos for the pink Shellos. We rescued the blue Shellos for the pink Shellos. And we got a royal gummy for that. Nice. Royal gummy was put in storage. And we got a black gummy too. Nice. And a white gummy. More gummies. And we got 10 explorer points. Not bad. I think there's like one more mission I've got to go and do at the detached buff and rescue the... Uh, it sorts out the escape orb thing. So now I've got an escape orb, I can sort that out. So I will definitely do that. We should get some sleep too. Let's make another good day of it tomorrow. Alright, good night. Chapter 5. The first official expedition. The next morning... Up and at him. It's morning! Oh, good morning, Beacon God. Every time I want to record a damn police car or a damn ambulance wants to interrupt my recordings whilst I'm trying to record. Every time. Ahem. Everyone listen up, There's, I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast is the of uh, uh, into its outmost reaches lies a place called the Temp uh, the Threshold Forest. Yeah, the Threshold Forest. In the Threshold Forest, time has apparently stopped. That's not good. Time's not supposed to stop. Huh? E did you say that? What you say, time has stopped. Hey, hey, hey. It yes, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill in the, f in the Threshold Forest. The wind has stopped. The clouds and mountains are motion. The clouds are motionless. Drew drops from the leaves. That's the things that. Uh, that's the little specks of rain you get from when it rains on leaves and stuff like that. So that's dew drops. Won't fall. They're just left suspended, hanging there. In the fresh old forest, time itself has truly stopped. Time has stopped. But how could something like this so awful happen? That's unthinkable. Yes, it's unthinkable that it has happened. Why has time stopped in the fresh old forest? Well, it's because the forest time gear was stolen. Huh? But the time gear was stolen. Hey. That's what has made time stop. Hey, hey, hey. Jame! I what are the possibilities? I heard the possibilities, but how could this really happen? I don't get it though. Why would anyone take a time gear? Quiet, everyone. Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would just steal a time gear. But if a time gear has been stolen, maybe other ones are in danger too. The officer has asked us to be notified. 
and meet to notify immediately of any suspicious characters. So keep that in mind and, and let us know anything. That is all. All right, everyone. It's time for another busy day of work. Hooray! Well, that's it. That's it. Oh, you there. Come here, you two. You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed. To see your capture of Drowsy was very admirable. So, we're finally a family as assign you as something worthy of a proper exploration team. Yay! Really? Woohoo! Let me see your wonder map. Baking God opened the wonder map. Traverse Town is here. Treasure Town is here. And over here is something we'd like you to investigate. See that waterfall flowing there? By our occurrence, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we've received intelligence that maybe something connect is that the waterfall may be hiding a secret. And that's where you come in. We want you to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. Do you understand what your mission entails? Yes. Good. All right. I'll leave it with you to investigate the waterfall. Huh? What's wrong? You're shivering. Oh. Are you alright? Yep, I'm okay. It's just, uh, the application is uh, making me feel nervous. This is our first real job as an exploration team. I'm feeling a little bit worked up. Yeah, I might burst from excitement. Let's do us right, Baking God. Yeah! And we will do that in the next episode of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness LP. In today's episode, we went around and did a few things. We also did some century duty for the uh, team. Uh, we also did some century duty for the guild. And in the next episode, we're going to go and explore Waterfall Cave. And find out what else is there and see what's hiding behind the waterfall. But if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Of course, go and check out my content if you like my Let's Plays. I do Pokemon content over on my channel, Joe's PH Games. Of course, go and check out everyone else. It's part of Skyloft Gaming. Their links will be down in the description below. And they do have various amounts of LPs as well. And they're all up. Amazing. So until next time, I am Joe's PH Games, and I am out. See you again, Skyloft Gaming.